bucks. Okay, there's a car blowing up. It's not me, I swear. It wasn't me, it was the guy in the truck. job to do that. <laughs> Hold up. Here we go. Ready for this one? Cops try to, you know, do that. Cops try, try to stop you by pulling you over like that. Uh, let's see what I got here. Yeah. No, I don't want to stop and pull over. I stopped because I was looking for my gun list. Goodbye. They didn't stop you that time. Oopsie. on fire. Look underneath. <laughs> Thank you. No. You want me to get out of the car so you can shoot me. I'm not getting out of the car. Mm -hmm. I always tell them, say, no, you stop. You want me to pull over so you can have a chat. So you're chatting with the wrong guy. Uh, I knew you were another popo. Ha ha. Here we go. I'd never do that jump again if I tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard a story one time. Somebody uh, went to the police station dropped off a box of donuts. Nobody was at the front desk and he, uh, they dropped off the donuts and he slept. Damn, they really want you to pull over. Yeah, yeah well, they uh, really wanted me to move over, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, they really, somebody, you hit that one over there, there's somebody already dead over there. You got hit from behind. Oh. He's like, boom, boom. He wanted me to move over to my right. My left. He said, pull over. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. I'll pull over, but I ain't stopping. Oh, he tried to trick me. <laughs> he just waited till that last second pulled out in front of me.
We made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. That's a good way to start. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so here's what I did to uh, my to Supernatural so far. I got the tailpipe on both sides, the duels, so it matches up. It looks like the old machine gun thing. Yeah. yeah. So this is so far. I haven't finished it yet. So got a couple little things, but if you look at it in the light, it's got uh, a, a livery on it that looks like it's a smoke-filled flame. Let me see if I got a flashlight. I... No, I don't have a flashlight or else you could see it. I could probably take it outside and maybe we could see it. Maybe we can see it outside. I love the name of this stuff. Hmm. Let's see if we find a good light so you can see the, the detail of this. Uh, Thing. Right now it's a little dark. Oh, you can see it a little bit on the side here. It's from being outside, you can see it on yeah. not this side so much, but the driver's side. Where do I go? Yeah, I saw it when I was going yeah. through. Everything when I first got it. Head back this way. Gee, I wonder what happened to that guy that they were chasing from earlier from throwing explosives. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder what happened to him. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got it on there. Rolling down the street, smoking and uh, sipping on gin and juice. I got a lot of my audio off here, but I got it on both my phone and my laptop. I got the stream itself on my phone, but the stream and chat on the laptop. I think the phone one's working right now. But we're gonna head up, uh, go down this way. How's that sound, okay? Yeah, we're gonna head this way and over here. Let me head down here. Here, this is my public, my private road now. You know that? This is my new private road, yeah. Because it belongs my uh, my thing over here it leads to this I wonder what happens if I just drive up on top okay come on get out uh, unless you want to sit in the car to see what happens well, no, you know what? Sit inside the car to see what will happen. Okay? Get in the car. I will run all around. I will run off the side here. Just stay there. Okay? Just stay right where you're at. Or try to move into the middle more on the black line. Okay, that's good. You're good. Ready? Let's see what happens. Anything happened to you? No, it's still sitting there. Well, it opened up for me. Yeah, the car in there, 
Well, you're still sitting in the car? Yeah, well, I just got out, but I, I can't get in. But, one, way, probably one reason why I couldn't get in work is because I, uh, not in your thing. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I forgot to start it up, didn't I? Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, what I'll do is I'll come back out now. Huh. And then we'll try it again. Huh. I'll add you in when I come back up. I wanted to see if something would happen. I never saw anybody try it, you know? Does that make sense? Alright. Okay. And it shows y'all it's still sitting on top. Okay, now I go here, hire associate. See if that makes a difference. And I sent you that invite. Yep. Okay, you joined, right? Yep. You're now a member. Yep. See if that makes any difference. Here we go. Nothing, right? Nope. I'm still sitting there. That sucks. <laughs> I guess you gotta go into the yellow. You want me to put the car in there, or, or just walk the well, car? Well, nah, in? there's not. Well, you could try to drive the car in, but it's full right now. There's no. Oh, okay. There's no sense to do it. No room for it, but you could drive it and see what happens if you try to drive it on there. You cannot enter this facility. Only the facility owner can drive a vehicle in. Okay. That's a little different. So I just walk in. Yeah, you just walk in. I'm up on the upper upper area where my seven vehicles are, which you can fit more than seven up here easily. There's still an area over on this side that you can put a vehicle that won't. But you can't put nothing here. This is one I haven't worked on yet. Yeah, the muffler comes out the side, not the back. I gotta find out where I can work on this. I do want to try this one out, though. It's got a CD player. Even has a lighter. Huh. All right, let's see how good this is. It's supposed to be a four by four. Yeah, well, and it's supposed to be all dry through water, not underwater, but through higher water than other other areas. Yeah. It's like a military uh, facility thing here. Look at all the stuff that you can run around and jump through and dive and yeah. obstacle course wise. And you got this thing here. And yeah, I tried going through it when I was in story mode. This is the guy we hired to watch out for people coming up. He lives in this little shack and owns that little trailer. It's supposed to be like low key off off the uh, off off grid type thing. Yeah. Okay, let's see how well this handles on the sand. So far so good. It does go pretty deep. Yeah. Not a bad jump. 
You almost gotta drive this thing like it's a Bigfoot truck, though. Not many people know what a Bigfoot truck was. Let's see, okay. Yeah, I can't do the jump this way, but we can... Handles the deep mud good too. Only four wheel drive. This is the other one I want to get because it's got rockets and machine guns on it. Oh, yeah. yeah, but they got this one here and the one in there. This one's the one that you can basically steal from almost nothing. This one's showing four miniguns on it. <laughs> and then there's the buzzard on the inside that's got all the other regular military stuff on it too. Oh, the data breach. Alright, well, let's... See what we do here, right? Let's go down this way. I mean, it's really done no damage to this thing, except for... No, I haven't done any damage to it, even though I flipped it, rolled it twice. Let's see about starting another mission. You down for that? What was it? We're gonna do a mission. Okay. Let's see, we already did the first mission. Now we try to do the second mission. Right? Yeah. We stole an ambulance. Beep, beep. Hey, it got changed. Huh. 
I just noticed it. Yeah, there's a big weed, weed plant, uh, leaf on it. It's on the wall, too. Dang, I never noticed until just now. Reminder, possible deniability is paramount. Then we got... Hmm. That one, what the hell is this? I mean, I never... What goes here? Uh, you would think something goes here. Yeah, I'm sure something does. We just haven't got to it yet. Look at all them servers. That's some big, massive servers to run a computer, huh? I don't know, yeah. All right. It's a dust-free facility, huh? We got that. Yep. This one we got pick up deluxos, and this one we steal in a Nikula. So we gotta fight your way through security to access the garage where the deluxos are stored. Mm. Okay, we need to go after deluxos now. And it looks like it's gonna be. Fly a deluxe. <laughs> Go to the address I sent you. This friend of Avon's has the cars we need. And he won't mind us borrowing them. Now taking out his security team? Well, he's making that sacrifice for the greater good. Technically, his security goons are making the sacrifice, but, uh, you know, anywho, they're bad people, so. These cars are. It will take a lump of custom to get there. How's that? Steel body panels, iconic 80s American design, perfect for our designs after a few modifications. They're in his locked garage. Deal with the security first. This one's mine. I set this one up for doing different things, but this is not made for this type of work. But it can. I guess we gotta steal two of them. Okay, quick rundown. How do you make the thing fly? Um, when you first get in, you know, um, you double tap A. And then, you know, and then you hold, uh, you know, all T, you know, like to go up and down. Well, that's some boo, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure they'll give me a quick insta, a quick thing telling me how to make it go up in the air and all that. Yeah, this is my off-road getaway vehicle. Yeah, yeah, when I first got this up to it, it took me a minute, a minute to figure out how to fly the damn thing. <laughs> this van's fully upgraded, so that's why it moves like it does. I left it. I didn't lower it all the way down. I left it up. I only lost a lot one night. I still got my light. You know, the two little lights in the front. Yep. I watched that Quantum Leap episode, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't remember. Tell me you haven't seen that somewhere. Oh, there's four deluxe zones. I don't, I don't remember Sam being in a time loop. That's the thing is, I... I vaguely remember it very little but I, it's I do remember where he was sent from one body to another body in the same mission 
Like well, I know little... that he, he did that near the end that uh, when he leaped into Lee Harvey Oswald and he went from Lee Harvey Oswald to the security guy that was d doing the motorcade. That's similar to a time loop because you're in this same story just yeah. in two different bodies. And, and he was jumping all through thing. Lee Harvey Oswald's life. Which, uh, me personally, I don't think Lee Harvey Oswald did it. But, you know. I, I believe one of the bullets was his. I don't believe all three. I yep. do feel he had something to do with it. I believe that it was, uh, it was all the government set him up. Oh, I believe the government was all part of it. And I believe Jack Ruby had something to do with it, too. Yeah. We missed a turn. Uh, I'll get it back here. Hold on. Oh, they're going to take us the other way anyway. Look at that. Yeah. That's the weirdest sounding friggin' horn I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> See? See? We're going to go up this way. It makes it a little bit... Even though it's a, wave, a winding road a little bit, we can go kind of straight. I wasn't going that fast. I mean, I made this truck this way for a reason. You see, it's just muscling over all of it. Another one um, that he was leaping through the same story was um, um, with, with Abigail, you know, um, which he was a little girl and, and she leaped, uh, he was a sheriff and then, then next he leaped into her boyfriend and then next he leaped into the lawyer. Actually, there was kind of a few of those actually just yeah, see, as I said, it's like, what he hit? <laughs> Car just turned sideways. Oh, my hand. And the other one was uh, the evil leaper ones. Well, that's what they're trying to say with this new season. With the new, with the storyline they have for Quantum Leap, that there's more than one leaper. Yeah. So that one guy said, quit following me. At first, I thought that might have been Sam, but... Ace Jones Drive. We got still 40s. Oh, yeah. It's so see, much yeah. better if I could steal them on the back of the truck. Well, this is going to be uh, interesting. Yeah. Each have to get in one and then go back. Come back and get another one, yeah. Yeah. The head of the security team will have the key. Find him, you get access. We were we just driving by. Okay. Let's start with number one.
I already got him. There's the key. There's another one on the outside of the wall fence here, I'm guessing. I gotta reload, okay? Just one second. Drop the <laughs> fucking weapon. Yeah, I'll wait for you. <laughs> wait one second. Yeah. You fucking Me dead. Took the fence out, but he's dead. So, ah. We now find this. Okay, the yellow thing's over here somewhere. Yep, that's where we gotta go. Where the yellow marker is. I got the keys. <coughs> they said there's gonna be more inside. So get ready. It looks like there's only actually two. Yeah, that would probably a different location for the other two. Oh, they go over here. No, they're all in here. Uh, I'll grab the red one. Not yet. You're using these cars to secure data which may well prevent a crisis in democracy or worse. Choosing your favorite colors falls very low on the list of what's important right now. Oh, that is such I want to make them black. Thing to say. You care about the user much, do you? First the product, then the user. You ass. I think I gotta do it again. I thought about changing the color of mine, but I haven't decided yet. Well, technically, the, the actual uh, cars are only one color, except for one, unless you, you paid somebody to paint it. Because they only made them one color. Yeah. Except for number one. Number one was the only one that was gold. Yeah, All I the others were the same you. colors. Yeah, I try to keep it with the original. All over the freaking road, man. Okay. So they all you want all of them the same color? Or? Yeah, make them all black. Uh, yeah. That's the one thing you never saw was a freaking car all in all black. One of these. What brings you in today? Unless they pick otherwise, they make you only pick one color. Well, they're all three, so. Let's see. Black. Repair vehicle, respray. Classic. I'll go with classic. You can make it all uh, chrome. That's what I'm doing, making it chrome. Hey, make them all chrome. Okay. Make them all chrome. That's wild looking, man. Uh -huh. Okay, deliver the Deluxos to the facility, and we're going to have to come all the way back to pick up the others. I'm on my way to uh, take this one back. Yeah, I'm right behind you. 
It's wild that they're silver like this. Chrome. Wow. Wish I can afford it for my. Wish you could see. <laughs> oh. They got regular horns. Weird that the, that that chrome is so much better on this than any other vehicle. You notice that? Yeah. You can't make just anything chrome, but this one actually looks good chrome. Yeah, it does. <laughs> totally agree. <laughs> as soon as I saw chrome, I was like, "Oh yeah." I think Doc Brown will agree. To the future. I heard they're trying to make another one, and, and uh, Marty is it's missing. Well, they can't really do it without him. Uh, and once I uh, made one, I seen it said Marty's been missing for 20 years. And the doctor's been looking for him for 20 years. Well, hell, Doc Brown's been dead for a hundred and something years, I think. Yeah, and then in, the, in, in, in that video I saw, it said his son is helping Doc Brown find him. Okay. And he looks nothing like Michael J. Fox, the son. He looks totally different. Well, of course he would. Because I know in the second one, you know, of course he looked like Mother J. Fox because he played both parts. Yeah. Really He's cool. a little too old and too shaky to be doing it now. Yeah, I know, right? So if they are going to use that story for another one, it would be very interesting to find out how Marty disappeared. Yeah, well, I mean, the fact that they were trying to find, that they did that little short thing where Christopher Lloyd was a big part of it when they tried to find one of the original cars from the movie, and they were able to find one and the truck that Marty used to drive, both yeah. sitting at the same place. But the one that was actually in the movie, there's only three of the 20 of them left. And there's only seven of the Knight Rider cars left in the world of the originals. All the other ones were destroyed due to a uh, train crash. Yeah, yeah Jerry the King Lawler, he has a Batmobile, original Batmobile. He, uh, him and, um, What's that guy? The, the, the ventriloquist guy. What Ahmed. Oh yeah, uh, Jeff Dunn. He's got one too. He's actually got one of them too. Right, A that, Batmobile. That but he has but he has one of the ones also from the movie. The Batman movie yeah. back in I think it was Batman Returns. He's got the Batmobile from that. And he's got the Batmobile, one of the Batmobiles from the TV show. He only had two, and there's the two. But Jerry Lawler has also put his up for auction so many times, and then turn around and got it back. Someone's getting paid for it. Nothing is for free, people. We are the product. Now we gotta go get two more, huh? And it shouldn't be so hard to get the other ones. That's one. Three more cars to go. It just sounds weird, man. I tried not to crash it. I bumped it a couple times. 
All right, we're at one hour and counting. Well, just about an hour. Yeah, and we know right where they're at, don't we? Yeah. I will call in my helicopter. Okay, we just this need one's two actually more cars. simple. Uh, your blue car's out here. Oh, who is it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can always take that down there, so I'll wait for you to come out because you're inside now, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm right here. And we'll just. Right, you drive us down, we'll get the other two. I figure, you know, we haven't streamed this such a long time. Yeah. And let's do a stream, you know. Well, you said in February you were doing it again, so. Yeah, but it may be a little longer than I was oh, expecting. Okay. But, yeah. I was hoping to have more more of what I was trying to get taken care of taken care of by now before we could get back to this full time twice to three times a week streaming. But I figured, you know, these people deserve if they want to see a stream we can put one up for them. Uh, you know, I, I do it for the love of streaming. I don't do it because I got a, a million fans or ten million people to watch. I do it because I love to stream. Yeah. And I told Tess about it, you know. She asked why. I thought, like, well, I don't know. He didn't really go into detail. He just said uh, he uh, yeah. wouldn't be taking a person. Well, I kind of told you sort of why, but I appreciate that you didn't go into more detail. Yeah. I appreciate it. I really do. Yeah. I know I have somebody I can trust. So. Yeah. I need people like that in my life. The people I know I can trust. You know, you kind of know why, but you don't know the full story behind it. Yeah. But that's fine. You kind of know the main reason why we stopped. I just felt like I, I needed to do this tonight to get my mind relaxed. Cause, okay, for those who don't know, I suffer from PTSD. Yeah. I have it to a severe level. Um, I was at a point at one point where... I wanted to die, but I didn't want to commit suicide. I just, I just felt like I wanted to die. Yeah, I've been there. So I went and got help. I went and I got a, a, a therapist. I've been talking to her for over three years now, maybe four years. Um, I haven't been back to the office since the pandemic started. I'm still doing the phone calls because it makes it a little bit easier with some of my underlying issues. I have borderline agoraphobia because of it. I don't like being in a room with people. I hate yeah. crowds. Yeah, me too. Um, I don't like to leave the house unless I absolutely have no other choice. Yeah, I was surprised when you said you didn't like crowds because, you know, you being a, a pro wrestler, you know, a former pro wrestler, you know. It was a different thing. It was a different time then. It, you know, it was very different for me then. Yeah. Um, when I was going through the thing like that, I can get up and stand in front of a crowd. Now you gotta realize the wording I put that. I can stand in front of a crowd. Yeah. Being in the middle, in the ring, where the closest person to me is almost 20 feet, that means I'm standing in front of a crowd. I don't have a problem doing that. I hate being amongst the crowd. Right. See, you put me in a room full of people, I panic and get almost mentally paralyzed. I can't think. I can't focus. I'm constantly looking for a way out. Yeah. You put me in a wrestling ring or up on a stage, I got no problem as long as there's enough room where I feel like I'm not trapped in. Trapped in. Yeah. With me, I'm the same way, but with being, you know, if I have to stand in front of people, like in a ring or whatever, I get stage fright, and, you know. Like, you I know. don't suffer from stage fright. I do. Because, here's the thing I learned a long time ago. If you're going to try and be a comedian, right, you try to make people laugh, uh -huh. what's the best place to make people laugh? 
by standing up in front of them, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have a defense mechanism. I have a defense mechanism I've been using my whole life for everything. I will literally sit there and I, if I can make one person laugh, you know, I, I make, I, I brutally will attack myself verbally about things to uh, I don't know how you explain it like I will make jokes that are very demeaning to myself to make other people laugh regardless of that guy got lucky what the hell's up with everybody coming down the hill? Yeah, for real. That's messed up. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do real quick here is I'm gonna go and return my van. Uh, wait, it must not be my van, so leave it. Okay, remember, it's just right here on the right, so we can go in. Okay, right here. I got my gun. I got my game here. My gun. Just in case. Yeah, yeah. Never know. I think they're already made. As I was expecting to have dinner when I made it. Yeah, my dog child wasn't eating. Uh, I'll take the green one. Well, oh, the other one's kind of black, ain't it? No, I don't. Yeah. I didn't say I was eating. I didn't say I wanted to be eating. Remember, Chrome. Don't try it out now. He eats the rest of the hamburgers. They were mine. Please. Okay. <clears throat> Ow. Ow. I already hit it once and he made me hit it again. <laughs> I kind of figured that when you said ow twice. But then you hit me and I hit it again. Yay. I guess I'll have him. Which one of us will get here first, huh? At the same time. Yeah, I already put it in a drawer. Here for the magic touch? Oh, this one cost me more. Oh, yeah, Better than when she one. came in, that's for sure. There we go. And it's chrome. Let me look at you. Yep, all chrome. But you make them as exotic as anything, so it looks like you're a rich person actually had it. Right. So having four different ones, four different colors, and have. And look, we even changed the license plates.
Hi, Dax. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be tripping out about this car, wouldn't he? I don't know, right? He'd be like, oh, nice fresh meat. I even got spun out. Weird reason my car seems faster than yours, don't it? <laughs> the last car. Yep. We got this set. <laughs> yep. Okay, we got the cars. Now for the data. Come to the planning room when you're ready to move. My shop's got some work to do. Building up did, on my uh, did uh, um, 
the person that's in charge of the the crew that were in, uh, did they change the picture? Um, I don't know. Yeah, they did. Oh. That's why yeah, they weak changed that. that that's why yeah, they, yeah, I kind of figured that's what happened. Yeah, okay, because, uh, the thing said, crew, you know, I got an upgrade on my thing, on the crew rank, and then I hit the phone up. Yeah. They changed it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have to get the Akula. Hmm. Okay. I think I have to go down. Hmm. This is going to be fun. We have to infiltrate the control tower. Is that at the military base? Uh huh. Oh boy. <laughs> Bump. We're sitting in an hour. Wow. We can save this for the next one. Yeah. It's up to you, though. Yeah. Yeah. Save it for the next one. Alrighty. Yeah, at least we got some stuff done here. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, that mission was easier than I thought it would be. And Surveillance. I think so. Can you do? Where you get him? Right here. Man, where is this damn base? Was in color, man. I'm looking for Van Fort Van Zancudo on this. Let's take it here. We go. I think this is right here. Yeah, this is Fort Zancudo. Yep. And that's the tower. Somehow I'd have to get in somewhere over this way. This is coming from the highway over here. I'm in this way, right? Now yeah, I find a way to go this way. That's the quickest way to get to where I need to go. Is this the control tower? Is this the control tower? No, I think this is it. I don't see one anywhere else. I'm sure it'll tell you when you know when you start the mission. Yeah, but I'd like to see what I'm looking at here. You know, this one here looks more like a radio tower. Yeah. See how that one's a radio tower? This one's definitely the control tower. So, as I come in, there's a, I'm guessing that's the gate. I turn right here. It's straight to here. It's not that far, really. When you come in, you go right here. You come in here, you can cut back in here, and you're right there. Hmm. 
I don't think it's been paid yet. I don't think so. Alright, these are the smaller hangers here. Yep. And that's the big hanger here. That's the major, major hey. running hanger. Uh, for the only one is 11. 10 FBI comes on, and I don't watch that. I'm guessing that's the tower. This is a parking lot. This is the only thing that looks like it would be a good control tower. I could zoom in and zoom out pretty good. I think for that last one, you might want to need some help. <laughs> yeah, I may need some, a little bit of help. I mainly just need guns. At least I like the fact you can use this thing for surveillance. Uh, it looks so much better on stream, though, my God. <laughs> and it does live, it looks better in stream. You can see it clearer. All right, uh, gotta formulate the right plan. But all right, we're over an hour. I will. We will be back eventually. And maybe a couple weeks we'll start doing it again. Just right now, it's been a a wild time. So, all right. So parental guidance is suggested. This question is advised. And yep, we will you see you. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Jane, right? Uh -huh. And here we go. That's it. Uh, I need to walk on to this. Bathroom. Okay, Captain. <laughs> Blunt me, sir. <laughs> All right. And we'll catch y'all on the other side.